Inquisitor, with all respect, is Exterminatus the only solution? Admiral Spire. It is said that heresy is like a tree. Its roots lie in darkness, while its leaves wave in the sun. You can prune away its branches, even cut the tree to the ground, but it will grow again ever stronger. Such is the nature of heresy, and why it is so difficult to destroy. Some may question my right to destroy a world of ten billion souls, but those who truly understand realize that I have no right to let them live. No sacrifice is too great no treachery too small. Now things are getting really dark and grim. Well, we're gonna have to resort to exterminating entire planets now. To kind of hold back the heresy that is unfolding upon us. Oh boy, things are escalating, aren't they? Because it was only like the last two turns of Warp Storm, and the Black Legion himself would have arrived. I am not looking forward to how this is going to continue to unfold. Here's my prediction for the end of the campaign now everyone dies. That sounds like a 40k ending, doesn't it? But regardless, Abaddon still won't get his victory, somehow, even though we're all going to be exterminated. Nonetheless, what is this? Because I'm not familiar with this. Each turn, there's increased chance the exterminus will target enemy world. Huh. If a world's target, a mission will appear. Failing ignoring it destroys the planet, huh? Destroyed plants give you penalties. Interesting, so I can actually counteract the Exterminatus? That I find interesting. And I'm assuming that's the icon they are referring. Yeah, Exterminatus, so... If I don't deal with it, the entire planet's gone. That's an interesting little, uh... New mechanic they decided to put in here. Otherwise, I have three deployments, and what the hell do I have to deal with? We have three, six, nine worlds to defend. Wow, and I can only deal with three of them. So, this is interesting. On the plus side, the Black Legion has been held back quite a bit. But that also means I need to make it a point to deal with the Eldar at some point soon. And I'm not seeing any Space Marine uh, missions here, so... I think maybe I should deal with this Exterminatus. Because what is this? Data recovery, I'm the attacker. So that doesn't sound too terribly difficult. Assuming I can get on them. Which shouldn't be hard, because then they'll be boxed in. Because I want to try and save all the worlds I can, even if it is like... A simple production world, which is... Pretty minor, as far as the renown is concerned. So let's start with this. And then I'll have to deal with Eldar afterwards to try and manage them a bit. Thankfully, orcs, not a threat at all. They're not a threat, and I haven't seen any missions for them, so... I should be good for this turn at least. Not sure about next turn. And the main thing about data recovery is I want a, as many ships... Well, it's not just data recovery, assassination as well. I want as many ships as possible as the attacker. So that way, if we have this weird game of ping pong or leapfrog where everyone boards everyone else, I should come out as the victor just because I have more cruisers maybe? I'm not sure if that's true, but I have my entire fleet available to me. It's just a question if I want to do it this way. I have a lot of favor, it uses up all my points, so I'm getting the maximum possible value. And, sadly, Space Marines don't help me defending it. But I like this setup. 
because the torpedoes are going to be pretty damn potent if it's if I can get them off. And again, five cruisers. Whereas otherwise, if I were to use anything bigger, I would only have four cruisers to utilize for warp and boarding. So I think this is the best I can get, at least as far as the objective is concerned. Still remains to be seen if it's the firepower I want. But I like to feel like I got chaos number got chaos's number basically. So long as I stay grouped up and position myself well, there's like almost no way that chaos can beat my fleet. It's just a matter of minimizing the damage at that point. And with that said, safest way to start is deploying the middle and then go after a ship as soon as it reveals itself. So I think I want the Mark 1s in front because they have more resistance and then they can back up behind. Oh wait, that was a Mark 1. Go behind the rest of the fleet once the engagement happens because now both my Dauntlesses have extra shields and my Mechanicus one even has faster shield recharge. So that's going to be extra resilient in these light hit and run type of skirmishes. Because I am going to be trying to avoid the rest of the Chaos Fleet altogether. Enemy ship sighted. Well, this makes it easy for me. It's a battle cruiser though, so this is going to be a tall order. Underway. And what really sucks is warping out is almost guaranteed that I'm going to get lost in the warp. If there's a way I can somehow avoid that, I am happy with it. And since I'm going to fly right into that beacon anyway, why not just re reveal myself? Get extra aggressive here. If it's at all possible. Also, let me just maneuver a bit more to dodge this, because I got basically three minutes and no, I don't... Yeah, these are not my tor torpedo ships. Premature fire, but I think I can get some hits in, which would be decent. I kind of forgot about the short bur burn there, but it did hit something though, it paid off. Well, let's see, I want this one to dodge that stasis bomb ideally. And just fly right past them and don't give a crap. Let's see, I'm hoping that debris is not damaging my battle cruiser. That would suck if that was the case. Dodge that bomb. Brace for, impact. Brace for impact. And can I taunt? Not quite. So my Dauntlesses may, Mark 1s, may want to regroup. Yeah, at least my level 3 is taking the damage it needs to, so I'm gonna get the regroup. Your orders. Understood. You're just gonna get behind the line there and provide support fire. You did your job as far as soaking damage. Just please don't hit my other ships, that's all I ask. And I think I'm gonna leave you there so that way, yeah, you don't ram my battle cruiser by accident. Because as you can see, he's clearly booking it. And I don't think his stasis bomb is safe until he turns off the thrusters, which he's actually did. Now there's a chance I can hit him with that. And also, let me reveal these things, because I'm getting harassed and giving him free damage as a result. Of course, he had the boost, go figure. I have a minute to intercept. Do I have any way to recharge these shields? I do. Not much of one, but it will help. Recharge boosters. Recharge boosters. That's the best I'm going to do. Actually, let me just get in there and grab the plans. That way he has to turn around. Understood. He's going to immediately board me once I get close enough though. Actually, now with his generators destroyed, I want him to have the plans. I'm willing to let him have it. Because at least that way I don't have to worry about these other ships grabbing it conveniently. Also, eat melted torpedoes. You just made that easy for me. 
Damn it. My battle cruise is not able to use torpedoes. It's being hindered by some ability. I think that's, uh, what is it, one of the favors? Yeah, it's, that cruiser does have favors, so I'm not sure what exactly it does, but it's keeping me from using my torpedoes, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. More melted torpedoes sounds good. I don't want to use my boards just as, as promising as that sounds. I'm almost wondering if my battle cruiser can even shoot. Okay, I can easily board that. Let everything get turned around. Okay, the effect just wore off. Perfect. And that's a plasma bomb. Oh crap, seriously? This is how it's gonna end. Just immediately just jumps me. And I have nothing in position. Damn it, damn it, I hate these missions. Maybe I should have planned this a little bit better. Because now I can't stop that ship at all. Unless I somehow get a miracle critical hit. God damn it! See, this is... I could have probably planned that better, but still. I should... This is why I hate these type of missions, though. It ends so abruptly there. For me there. Especially since warping out is not really much of an option. I can't have these defeats. Maybe I should just simply had something else jump it there. But it also it still had its shields up, right? So that was risky anyway, because I couldn't do a lightning strike, I think. Ah, uh, that's an amazing start. Now I have to waste another. Yeah, I have to waste another damn friggin' uh deployment for this to try and save this planet. That leaves me one more available. I hate this. There's a reason why I didn't like assassination and data recovery is quickly becoming the same thing. I could have avoided it, yes, but it's still irritating, especially if there's a situation that I can't actually board the ship because of shields or something. So still irritating regardless. Now do I do the same or ship fleet as well? Because I want to level up this Dominator some, but... Hmm. And I like the torpedoes still. Torpedoes are great here. Maybe I can switch it up. Yeah, I can have both my dominators for the Eldar when I deal with them. So I think this stays. And let's give them a proper victory this time, damn it. I'm bitter about that now. Because of how swiftly the AI had to respond to that. It can be moronic sometimes, and it can be incredibly swift because of how quickly it can respond. In Breakthrough at least I can confidently take out or f be victorious on this mission. So I'm gonna do the usual plan I do before. Stay on one side, have my two Mark 1s in front to soak up some of the damage. Because of their higher shields and of course that's the wrong cruiser. Let's fix that. There we go. Redeploy, make sure that everything's grouped as it should. No, that was the wrong group, damn it. Okay, now we're set and let's see what we have to deal with. Activating tactical cogitators. Okay, two cruiser-like icons, I guess. I don't know how, if the blips get bigger or not based on what kind of ship it is. Understood. But I'm okay with going all out. I just gotta make sure I detect the ship so it can fire back. It's really all it is. And I gotta watch my gauge so I know when... Actually, I have a better idea. No, I don't want to rotate, but I do want the others to catch up. So that way I have some little more resistance fire. I don't need a bore. I don't need a brace for impact. Oh, and I think that effectively reduced some of the firepower of that fleet. So that's actually paid off to an extent. 
There we go. Now let's focus on this flagship. Not so much care about that other ship, but hey. It's gonna take some broadside damage as I go do my passing run, so it's, I'm good regardless. 8% chance to crit. Wow, what the hell does that have? Holy crap, 20 troop value bonus? And it does hull damage to any ship within close proximity to it. Wow, that's... That is ridiculous. Uh-oh. We got company. And I can't micro warp jump, so... Oh, it's not trying to jump me, ram me anyway, so I think I'm okay. Let me just make sure. Oh boy. Come on, let's get at least the one plasma bomb. If nothing else. Now, can I torpedo this? Nope, too late. Too late to torpedo it, and both two turrets were destroyed as a result. That's a shame. And boosters are about to come up. Can I hit with Melta? Hell, let me just hit with regular torpedoes. I got the short burn. This is gonna hurt. Take a look at that damage, folks. Ripped out a third of that crew uh, flagship's health in an instant. Short burn torpedoes paid off nicely. Got a stasis bomb on my Mark II. Let's try and correct that. Also, brace for impact because it's taking a lot of heat. Actually, can I boost the shields any? Well, actually, I don't want to. It's already half recharged, so probably not worth doing. And actually, let me try ramming. Because why not? I got better dirt built in these damn cruisers anyway. So it's worth taking the damage. Getting the extra damage in. Now, let me get some distance and finish this thing off. There, good night, cruiser. Your days are numbered. That's two down. My mood's starting to change. I'm starting to feel better about this situation now, if only a little bit. Gonna taunt. Gonna murder. Let's see. Shields are up for everything, so I don't need to boost. So I'm okay with this. Now, let's do a full 180 on everything. Nice little fleet maneuver, I call. Now I just gotta name this maneuver so I could take credit for this type of tactic. And I can even ram it if I so wish. That would be fun too. And I think they're able to warp out now. Another 30 seconds so I could potentially actually just kill this cruiser straight up. Of course, I turned a little too sharply. Which is a little unfortunate, but I think it did the damage it needed to. Damage being done here. My poor Mark II is still on fire, so I think I need that to actually get out of range. Be a lower priority. And that cruise is about to get die. One more hit's all it needs. And that plasma macro battery is sure to do it. Now, I got another torpedo with your name on it. Although that's probably a little too steep. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to meet you head on, say hello to the torpedoes, and then say hello to the Mark II. Oh, just missed it by an inch. Or a couple hundred units anyway, if nothing else. Wait. Okay, I was wondering why it wouldn't let me plasma bomb. Speaking of plasma bomb, my battle cruiser just ate it. And now i got to be ready for when it tries to warp out, because it can do it now. And let me make the focus on generators, just in case I can hinder that some. Okay, shields are down. My poor, poor uh, Mark II is taking a bit of damage, but thankfully... It's in good shape now, I just gotta get it out of reach. I think it's gonna sit this one out for, at least for the remainder of this battle. It's did enough 
it's did enough work, it's fine. And I know for a fact this last cruiser, at least is a one that has fighter bays. Oh, it's also a regular cruiser, so that could be a bit of an issue. And weapon destroyed. I lost the macro battery, not a big deal. Can I hit with torpedoes though, because it's about to get stuck on the border. I would love to hit that if possible. The, I don't know how it's going to maneuver if it's just going to fly out of the border like I had in some missions. That's the only concern I have doing this. Yeah, and it's turning away, unfortunately, so... I can get more hits in, though, as a result. So I'm going to get stuck in a stasis bomb, but I think I'm okay. Because I'm right on the edge, and really, this ship can't go anywhere. Let's kill this generator, because I would love to brighten up my mood a little bit, kill this thing. And look, because it's out of the map, I can't even board it. How ridiculous is that? Clearly, these AIs cheating bastards. I won't, I, I won't accept this. And I still can't board it. This is ridiculous. You know how I'm gonna t take it out on him? I'm gonna torpedo its ass all along the stern. Oh, there it is. And I still can't board it? How the hell can I not board it? It's got no favors. Again, how the hell? Fuck you, you stupid cruiser. That's what I have to say for your chin shenanigans. That was your team, but a complete stomp as a result. See, I told you I was confident against, against chaos. I just need to be smart for what goddamn missions I end up taking. Because I can't have another repeat like with that dang a data recovery, if I can help it. Yeah, to the point I didn't even realize my Mark II made level 6. That's how thrown off I was as a result. But nonetheless, I can be happy about this now. Let's get that last Eldar mission done. Then I'll worry about the upgrades, because I think I'm in good shape to annihilate them. And there are a lot of Eldar El elsewhere. Let's see, assassination scares me, though. At least with Eldar... I can, it's really easy to warp on them, to kill their jump, but I had bad streaks with that before. Let's stick with something simpler. Let's see, we got Inquisition, we got Data Recovery, Planetary Assault. And we have a Forge World that's being threatened. I wish I could have defended Purgatory, but I need to start managing the Eldar threat too. Because Orcs are not a threat because I took care of them early on without failing missions, so... I want to try and do the same with Eldar, and at least that way, my efforts can focus entirely on chaos afterwards. So standard cruiser clash, this should be simple enough. And with uh, Nova Cannons, oh my god, that's going to be delicious. Two Nova Cannons, on top of ships that have no shields and no way to dodge it, if I aim it properly. Trick is, though, is having the fleet strength. Because Gothic's not going to be as effective as I like due to its reliance on lances. So do I go with the... Let's see, what kind of... I can only get two of the cruisers I like. And maybe... Maybe I go with the regular Mark I Dauntlesses. And that can't quite fit the frigates I want. I get a Cobra, but Torpedo is not... Ideal. It almost makes me want to take the Gothic so I can get a bunch of swords. As it stands now, I'm okay with the Cobra. Keep a nice tight formation and make sure my most resilient ships take the initial burst damage. And I do have a shield transfer, which doesn't say much. So I can at least tr help. Help whoever takes the uh, big hits there and get their shields back up quickly. And again, two Nova Cans. 
gonna immediately wreck some frigates if I can somehow hit it. Unlikely, considering how small they are, but I like the potential. Now let me do let me use the board of map to kind of protect shield myself in a way. It's against the Eldar. And I think I want my flagship to actually be the front ship. Well my Dauntless is in the back. And Sword and Cobra on the side, least likely get hit. Okay, never mind. Both my uh, Dominators actually have the shield bonus, so maybe I want them on the left. Have the Light Cruisers in the middle. Because Dominators are going to take the initial big hit. I just got to manage that, manage that damage well, and it should be okay. I kind of, I kind of want to just bomb this thing. Oh, I'm not even in range, so never mind. That'll take a moment. And I'm going all out, actually. Again, I like this strategy. I like this strategy a lot because it allows me to engage the first isolate one quickly, and I can potentially novacan it. And if uh, my cooldown is fast enough, I can hit the other squad as well. Actually. Can I hit with the beacon and kind of like manipulate to boost itself? I wonder. Yes, Admiral. So let me get these frigates out of the way. I don't want them to get demolished. Ideally, and Nova cans are at the ready. Let's see if this hits. Horrible, horrible scatter. That's Imperium accuracy for ya. The only thing they got going for them is, pr like, <laughs> at least in the tabletop version, it's just the sheer number of shots they have. What a waste of two Nova cannons. And it was only a frigate, too, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, well, I can dodge it easily enough. And hopefully I can just m do wreck a great deal of damage on this thing. Yep, here comes another frigate, so I gotta be ready for that. And actually, let me just ram this thing if it's possible. Couldn't quite ram it, but it took a crap ton of damage. Now, regroup, because that's important, I think. And if possible, I ram this thing as a bonus. Nope, it boosted away. Never mind, that's not. Everyone turn, group up. This is going to be so important for dealing with these frigates. I think we're in good position now. One frigate down. Perfect. Come on, stand still. Can I dodge this in any way? I can. Because those are plasma bombs. Stasis I'm okay with. But not so much the plasma bomb, if I can avoid it. And thankfully, those pulsars are not exactly hitting their mark. Now, is there any way I can broadside these things? I would love that. Sad thing is, my frigates are... My ships are going to be a little bit isolated. Understood. But I got immunity on shields to kind of help mitigate a lot of this damage. Now kill the engines, make that the priority if possible. Again, Mution shields will help and negate a lot of this damage. Almost to the point of rather just ram this thing because they're so fragile. And do I wait? No, I, th I think I'm willing to wait or ram like deal from now. Because there's still like a minute or so before I have to worry about them warping. And this is such a crazy sl slugfest right now, and I can taunt to make this less of a threat to my other fleet. And engines had to conveniently get destroyed. And I torpedoed myself, which is unfortunate as well. But game ram in is nice. Okay, let's recharge those shields. I was hoping to just straight up uh, murder this thing, but not happening. Your orders. 
And let's see, actually, let me ram this thing. Since that's a possibility. There. I feel better about this situation now. Because they decide to just stay in point blank range with me, so. It's hurting their effectiveness quite a bit. Also, let's repair the ship some if I can. That's taking heavy damage, I like it. And I can Nova Can this thing. Without the horrible scatter, but it's gonna dodge, damn it. That's unfortunate. And I almost got the R1 with the Nova Can as a bonus. Okay, what are our priorities? This one here. This one here. Kill these damn Eldar. Okay, one's down. That Nova Can sadly misses. But I'm gonna claim that the Nova Can destroyed it. Even though it exploded before the actual Nova Can went off. Alright, Solaris, you get the hell away from my damn frigate. Now repair this frigate here, keep the formations coming, turn these ships around. Also, lock on. Let's maximize my damage since I'm in really good shape right now. My poor frigates are about to take a bit of a beating though. But I think we got this now. I just gotta be ready for the possible warp out. Yeah, escort destroyed. I'm fine with that. It's only first casualty. And one that I have no penalty on. Yep. It's the Solaris is dodging my light cruiser, and it's gonna go right into the waiting arms of a Dominator. Do I have any warps available? I have torpedoes, which isn't saying much. Come on, I want to ram you. I was going to still try and ram you, but you decide to warp away at an inconvenient time. Now, just to destroy his flagship. Come on, I have boosters still, right? And I forgot one of these engines are destroyed. So, it's going to warp out any moment. I gotta be ready for that. Well, that was a little premature lightning strike. And sadly, the Nova Can did nothing for me. You're trying to do all the damage you went wish there, fella. You are dead, and that is another clean sweep. Poor Eldar AI is not exactly as smart as is it now. But it's for my benefit. That's all I'll say on that matter. And with that entire turn done in a nice little video chunk, let's get straight to the upgrade, shall we? Because now I'm almost at a thousand renown. I like it. I'm still bitter about losing that first engagement. But at least that uh, helps my mood a little bit for the really tough part we're about to face, so. What do I want for upgrades? I think mainly just get the renown done. Or get the favor done for my last cruiser. And then start... Ooh, we got a lot of upgrades as a result because I ignored everything. So, this is going to be delightful. Do I... Let's see, this is the Overlord, so it's going to be more support role. I'll get the Servitor for the cooldown. I'll level up the Master Gun again, then probably go with the Tech Priest. I know Rattings might be important for later on at some point. If I can get the levels for it, but again, it's meant more to support the other ships if I'm not worried about it getting isolated and swarmed. Let's see, this is my level 3 Dominator, which is Ratings and Servitor, so upgrade the upgrade that. Actually get the upgrade for my Overlord, which... What kind of upgrade do I want? Because I have a few options, I got the torpedoes I want. Unless I want to, imp to power up my uh, weaponry some. I don't care about the ship's lance because I only got like two turrets. So they're not really my strongest source. Accuracy sounds good though. I think I will boost the def offensive capability some. But I am going to have to get some utility to kind of or defenses to help make it at least more resilient than my regular cruisers. 
And all my light cruisers are nicely upgraded. I like where this is going. And it's a level 6, so... Tech Priest, I think, to kind of keep its resilience up. Again, in the sick of it, so that's the strategy. And let's... Let's see, ooh! An additional lightning strike for Space Marine Terminators. I like this potential a lot. But... Do I want to get that now? I think maybe I do. I got the additional shields already here. And I don't want to kind of get a little redundant having more armor just yet. Because with Terminators, that gives, should give me three chances, making it all, arguably more effective than my regular boarding party. Aside from the fact that I have four chances maybe for a regular board. And this one is soon going to follow it when I can get to level six. Let's see. So, two, two, one, so I'll upgrade the ranks first, get the enhanced shields for it. This is going to burn through my renown in a quick, in a hurry, isn't it? And my regular Dauntless, which I'm going to give the Mechanicus favor for the extra utility, which does go down and cost a little bit. The Adeptus Mechanicus is ready. Just not to an amount that's exciting just yet. And what did my level 5 have? Besides the navigator, which I realized was from the tutorial, the first missions, that's why I have that level navigator. Which is unfortunate because it is kind of the least value unless you really are paranoid about losing your ship so lost in warp. Especially for a campaign where I have to do several missions in a turn, so losing it for an entire turn can be punishing. Especially if it's like my really valuable ships, but for a light cruiser, not so much. Also, I was talking so much that I forgot what upgrades I had. Two to Master Gunner, one to Tech Priest. So Tech Priest, you're in. We got skills, we got two upgrades. My Renown is going to be going in a hurry. And I was so excited at first about this prospect too. So, I'll have another shield transfer because that's really useful for boosting my other ships that are soaking the damage. And two upgrade slots, which I guess I'm going to go with the same things I have up here. The shield recharge. Actually, let me make it the exact same order. So that way, I don't get thrown off by the fact that I have the shield recharge second. And then the shield boost. Or at least then the, was it the shield penetration as a third. So at least it looks more consistent. And I still have 300 renown left. Which makes me wonder, do I want to upgrade some of my frigates? Widowmaker's starting to lo lose relevance aside for actually detect them. And Sword Frigate, it's useful against Eldar because it's probably the strongest of the four frigates to go against it. Due to the nature of their hollow fields, but... I don't know what's useful in this case aside for durability, so... I don't think I want to upgrade that. And I have an option to upgrade transports if I feel it's needed, so... I'll save that for later on down the road, but again, I was talking about uh, boarding. Do I see it? Apparently, number of actions is three, plus the one it mentioned for having ter space marines. Although, I don't see the modifier here anywhere. Except for right here, so... Yeah, I have four boarding actions, four chances to critical destroy something. Where's the warp jump? The lightning strike. I don't see it. Yeah, and all it says is plus one action, so it should be two and then one more for the upgrade. And, aside for a loss, we're in really good shape right now. 